Yes, you did read that correctly. Recently, Facebook has purchased the Oculus Rift Virtual Reality Console for $2 billion. Now, if you're not familiar with what the Oculus Rift is, it's actually this little beauty. As you can see, there's a couple of straps, one that goes on the head, a couple that go around the side, and then this front piece goes over your eyes, and it immerses you in whatever experience that you are trying to get immersed into. Currently, the main support for it has been gaming, and it's only in its developmental stages. They actually just recently paused or stopped the development of the Dev 1 kit and have started working on the Dev 2 kit. Now, this purchase I feel is a great step in the right direction because I have looked at press releases from both Mark Zuckerberg as well as Palmer Luckey, which is the current CEO of the Oculus Rift. Mark is sharing a similar view to what I feel for the Oculus Rift is possible. Currently it's gaming, but imagine putting something like this on if you wanted to be in the theater and watch a movie. If they could get it to high definition and you can actually immerse yourself in the theater like you're watching that movie. Imagine wanting to go visit the Taj Mahal. Imagine wanting to go visit the Eiffel Tower. Imagine wanting to go visit the Kremlin. If you just wanted to go out to Dublin and Ireland, all of those things could be possible if someone creates the right program and you put this baby on and immerse yourself in those locations. Mark shares this view. He sees this as huge potential. He sees this as something that is a new system for computing. And I think that's a wonderful thing. I think that in, face, in the past, Facebook has proven the capacity to keep things not really fresh, but don't break what already works. Yes, he's made changes to his Facebook page, but it's never been anything so significant that you're like, oh my God, where are things? You always figure things out really quick. They stick to what works. And there's a few reasons that I see this as a positive thing. First off, two billion. Two billion dollars, that's a lot of money. And this is gonna be money that can be used for R&D to continue and make this better. Now, I know some people are concerned, well, what if he takes it in the direction of media, you know, social media? That's still a good thing because at that point, they're still improving the technology. And at this point, that's what matters. We haven't gotten to the point with the Oculus Rift that it's perfected. You know, we're not looking at things like the Xbox One or PlayStation 4 that have been around for a long time and are very good at what they do. We're looking at something that's very new. It's still in development. It's not even open for consumer use. Either way, I'm looking at it as a positive because the technology is still going to improve and that is what matters to me. Now, not everyone sees this as a positive move. I quote from Notch, the creator of Minecraft. We were in talks about maybe bringing a version of Minecraft to Oculus. I just canceled that deal. Facebook creeps me out. Notch, if you ever see this video, you're a dumbass. Straight up dumbass. 100% serious face. Minecraft is a beautiful game. It has so much potential. It can open the world up to infinite possibilities and he just canceled that. So, I would like to hear the rest of your guys' thoughts. Definitely leave them down in the comments below. Let me know your input. I look forward to reading everything you guys say. In the meantime, you take care.